What's up, vinyl community? This is the Thrashing Zombie back again to do another video that'll be watched by a few people. And the dogs are barking as usual. Hi, buddy. So today I have not vinyl, well, I have not albums, but I have some seven inches that I picked up. And I have a bunch of cassettes I picked up. So I'm just going to start with um, the 7 inches, I guess. A little stack right here. Uh, let's see what I get here. This is uh, Don McLean, American Pie Part 1, and Cart 2. These were what, a buck a piece, I think. This is David Bowie. I'm not sure which the sing which uh, song was the actual single. A new career in a new town or Sound and Vision. I'm not sure, but picked it up. I'm not a huge Bowie fan, but I like some of his single stuff. So, and this. Elton John and Kiki D. This is uh, Don't Go Breaking My Heart. And on the flip side is Snow Queen. I don't know what the Snow Queen is. I know Don't Go Breaking My Heart. Now we got The Police. Murder by Numbers. And Every Breath You Take. So I assume that's the single Every Breath You Take. I'm not sure if I know that song, Murder by Numbers. Then ELO, or Electric Light Orchestra, Don't Bring Me Down, on Jet Records. And the uh, flip side is Dreamin' of 4000. I don't buy a lot of uh, 7 inches, but if I see a whole bunch and there's stuff in there that I was like, oh, I like that single, I don't like the rest of the album, but I like the song. I'll, I'll buy them. Ooh, here's one. Bananarama. <laughs> Venus. I figured why not. And then White Train on the other side. You're my Venus. I want desire. That's not how it goes, is it? And the Beatles. Battle of John and Oko. Yoko. Oko? Yoko. An old brown shoe. Then, Paul McCartney and Wings, Band on the Run. And the flip side is 1985. So, 1985? Is that when this came out? I have no idea. And then is Queen, a crazy little thing called Love. And Spread Your Wings. I actually, I actually bought it for Spread Your Wings. And this band I remember from the 80s. Glass Tiger. Don't forget me when I'm gone. And then Ancient Evenings on the B side. Wait, this has a one on it. Huh. Oh, sorry. This one has a one on it, like an album. So that's the first side, that's the single. And then two is the, the B side. That's weird. None of the other ones have that. I think that's the first time I've seen that. Last Tiger. I know the song, but I can't think of anything else. And then these, these two things right here, this might be my uh, screenshot. Maybe. Um, these are 33 and a third RPM records. 
I don't know if anybody else has seen these before. These are from um, Power Records. There's a whole list of all the other ones they have right here. Um, they're basically comic books on record. Without the comic books. It's, it's people talking like the comic book. <clears throat> There's a Superman one. P.O. Box 65. And then this Batman one, the Catwoman's Revenge, which is still sealed. A lot of these came with actual comic books, and the record was stuck inside the sleeve on the inside. It had a flap, I believe. And you could read along with the comic while this was playing. And I have somewhere, or had, one of these, not one of these, but I, have ha I had a Fantastic Four one. Um, with the comic and the record. And at one point I had a different Superman one, I think, maybe, or a Spider-Man one. I don't know where either one of them are. I was going to do a video on those, but I can't find them. But I found these. No, no comic books. The reason I bought these is because I'm also not just a vinyl collector and music lover. I'm also, well, retired, I suppose comic book collector. I stopped collecting comic books probably 10 years ago, 11 years ago I stopped buying them completely. Because we bought this house and we're trying to save money and I said well you know I'm spending anywhere from 50 to 100 dollars a month on comic books. I'll stop buying them. I was getting sick of them anyway. But this isn't about comic books right now, this is about music and vinyl and, and a bag of cassettes. I'm gonna retread in here. I'm just gonna pull the cassette out and see what we got. First up, we got Van Halen 2. These are our 50 cents a piece. Um, I looked this up, I think it's a, a 80s reissue or something because of the way it looks. But yeah, Van Halen 2. This one, it's not metal, or hard rocks. The Escape Club, Wild Wild West. Uh, I remember this from my teenage years, the song Wild Wild West. It's more like dance music, I guess. Not really, it's pop. My, my wife knew it, she liked it, so. I, I like the song Wild Wild West. And this is one without a thing, and it's cheesy plastic case. What is this? Faster Pussycat. Self-titled, I assume. Uh, yeah, it's got bathroom wall on it. That was a big hit. Um, I don't know. What else? But yeah. No uh, sleeve. But, Faster Pussycat. Next up, David Lee Roth, Skyscraper. I think I actually had this cassette. This might even be my cassette. Probably not, though. Um, either I had it or my uh, stepdad had it. And then we got, ooh, 80s Alice Cooper, Trash. My friend at work, um, it's actually my boss now, he used to go to concerts. I won't go to concerts with him anymore because he's the boss. But he's a huge Alice Cooper fan. And he hates, hates this album with a passion. Hates it. Yep, and another one without uh, a sleeve. XYZ. Do not really know this band, but somebody who showed this vinyl, somebody I just watched, I think it was XYZ, showed this vinyl, I saw the tape and I said, well, I'll, I'll get that. And yet another one without a sleeve. This is another band I'm not really a whole, really familiar 
familiar with. Space Hog, Resident Alien. Uh, what's it got on here? In the meantime, Space Hog, Starside, Candyman, Space is a Place, Never Coming Down, Part 1. Cruel to be Kind. Isn't that an Elvis song? A bunch of other songs. Yeah, I, I don't know. I haven't listened to this yet either, so. Name sound familiar. And this, oh, this is one I did not buy for 50 cents. Uh, where I work, the, another guy I work with has a bunch of cassettes he's going to give me, he said. He brought this one in. British Invasion. You know, it's got, um, what's it got on here? It doesn't say the name, the band names. The Tula Clark, The Searchers, The Foundations, Edison Lighthouse, Flying Machine, Status Quo, Bonnie Tyler. I know Status Quo and Bonnie Tyler. I don't know anybody else. Anybody else. But we'll give it a shot. It was free. What's this? Joe Satriani flying in a blue dream. Not a big, uh, not real knowledgeable on Joe Satriani. All I know is uh, surfing with the alien. This has got the mystical potato head groove. Headless. Um, a whole bunch of other songs on the other side. Must be uh, short ones. Fifty cents though. Bunch more. Poison. Open up and say ah. These are kind of dirty. And they look a little bit beat up. Great album this though. Love on the rocks. Nothing but a good time. Um, tearing down the walls. Fallen angels. Great. Bad to be good. Every rose has a thorn. I mean, it's okay. But the album's pretty good. The whole album. Ah, I got this on vinyl. Killer Dwarfs. Dirty Weapons. This this was my introduction to Dirty uh, Killer Dwarfs. Good stuff right there. Ooh, Motley Crue, Theater of Pain. Yeah, the case doesn't uh, go with it, I don't think. Usually these black cases have the, the white tapes, not uh, these ones. I don't even know if all of these are uh, gonna work. They look pretty well used and uh, loved. Another one I got on vinyl. Europe out of this world. Oh yeah, I have the Molly Crew on vinyl too. God, I had, oops, I had the Molly Crew on cassette, I had the Poison on cassette, I had the Killer Dwarves on cassette, I had this on cassette. Man, these bring back a lot of memories. Sound quality, I mean, hit or miss. Another one I had on uh, cassette. I don't have this on vinyl though. Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction. Another one that doesn't have the right, cas the right case. Like I said, these are pretty dirty. Sound quality might not be the greatest. Hey, whatever. Another one this guy that I work with uh, gave me. Didn't buy this for 50 cents. Not a huge fan of this band. My wife likes them. I took it because my wife. And I didn't even know this came out in 1999. I didn't even know they were still making cassette tapes. It's Creed, Human Clay. I had no idea this was even on a cassette tape. I don't even think I was buying cassette tapes back then. Arms wide open. 
Got uh, four more. Ah, here's a killer. Haha, <laughs> Iron Maiden Killers. This one's well loved. Because it's just this. Look at it, it's just, it's beat. This was well, well loved. I don't know, even know why I bought this. I do not like this album. <laughs> but, it's Iron Maiden. Another one I got uh, on vinyl and CD already. And I had this on cassette and I had their second album on cassette. It's Dangerous Toys. I used to love this album and I played this album to death when I was in high school. So many great songs on this. Teasing and Pleasing, Scared, Bones in the Gutter, Take Me Drunk, Sporting a Woody. That's an awesome song. <laughs> Queen of the Nile, Outlaw, Here Comes Trouble, Ten Boots Stomping, That Dog. This is such an underrated band in my opinion. So good. And then their second album came out. And it was almost as good. It wasn't as good. And then after that, the record company said, you know what? Things are changing. We're not going to support you anymore. And they put out a string of like weird stuff. Not a string, I guess. They put out one called Pissed and then another one called the band formerly known as Dangerous Toys or something. And they were just mad at the record company. I would buy an album if they released another one now. So much I like Dangerous Toys. Here's another one without a case. Another band I'm not a huge fan of, but I do like this album. For a couple songs, it's Red Hot Chili Peppers, Blood Sugar Sex Magic. This is the album where they were, got huge and they stuck with this sound until now. And but I had to buy it because of the song uh, "Breaking the Girl," "Suck My Kiss," "Under the Bridge." The title track, Blood Sugar Sex Magic. Yeah, those songs. That's why I bought it. And I have a little story about this album. I had a friend who I went to school with, and it was when I was when I was out of school. She checked herself into the mental health facility at our local hospital, Dartmouth Hitchcock. And I found out and I went to see her and she kept saying, seeing the song Under the Bridge on MTV and she wanted the cassette. I might have told this story before now and I'm thinking about it. Um, and they had a little record store down in the mall part of the hospital. So the hospital is huge. They have a, like a little tiny mall with a couple stores and a couple uh, restaurants, not really restaurants. But they have food. Anyway. So I, I went in there and I got the tape. Did I buy it? No. Maybe I was still in school because 17, maybe 18. Maybe I was older. I don't remember. But I had a ha I had a bad habit back then. I don't steal anymore though. That was 30 years ago. <laughs> 20. I don't remember, 25, something like that, but yeah. So anyway, don't judge me for that. That was a long time ago. The last one I have is Accept, what is it, Eat the Heat? Yeah, Eat the Heat. Could do that a couple weeks ago here. It was so hot. This is an album I wasn't familiar with either. Um, but I bought it anyway. Eat the heat, except. And what we've been listening to, if you can hear it, is one of my favorite bands, Black Fast. This is their Starving Out the Light, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven songs. Might be an EP, considering EP. Might be a full length, I'm not sure. It's only 32 minutes. Something like that. Um, in this little slipcase, 
Oops. Um, yeah, some good uh, thrash, black kind of thrash stuff. I don't know if you guys can hear it, some good. I met these guys down in Manchester, New Hampshire. They were playing at a bar called the Chesquine with um, Cemetery Piss and some other band that was pretty big. They were the headliners. I can't remember the name of the band. Whatever. Um, but that's Black Fast. So until next time, this is my big face. Um, yeah, that's it. Rock on.